Get away from me. Bam. I shouldn't be fleeing. I know I shouldn't, but I am. So, yeah. We got shields that have special properties. Shields that don't have special properties. Uh, oh, the, the best shield you can get is going to be one that um, halves your MP cost. It's not going to be so much for protection, but that's a pretty good thing to have. <laughs> it's just your MP skills are cut in half, and uh, you just don't get a whole lot of defense for it. This was a complete dead end, this little bit I wandered into right here. Yeah, there's no way out of here. I gotta go all the way back around. It's fine. It's fine. Are you sold by my clouds? This is actually just like a snow graphic with the grass trimmed off of the edges. And uh, I guess there were supposed to be snowy mountains. I can't remember if I turned regular mountains white or if they were actually snowy mountains that the program included, but here they are. I guess they kind of work. Maybe. Not really. About as convincing as anything else in this game, I suppose. Oh, there was one more shield. There's also an evasive shield. Like, it, uh, it um, raises your defense the least, but it doesn't penalize your agility at all. And it has a property that actually makes you more evasive, so you have to decide whether uh, not getting hit sometimes is better than uh, having the defense for when you do get hit, because it's not like it's going to nullify all attacks against you. Oh, this part. If we bump into the things, we get hurt a bit. You just gotta like, oop, ow, ow, ow. If you stop on top of them, it can be bad. But sometimes it doesn't detect that you've stopped on top of them, and I don't really understand how it, that happens. I wanna say there's a book out here somewhere too. A little storm cloud there. Uh, is it over here? I think it is. This looks promising. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm going the wrong direction. Hmm. I picked the correct direction. We gotta go the other way to find the book. Farfetched, no. We're not fighting you. You're dumb. You're dumb Pokemon. You're bad. Yeah. Even if Leaf Slap wasn't terrible, you'd still be terrible. What makes Leaf Slap, bleh, Leak Slap so terrible? Well, it misses 50% of the time. That's bad enough already. Anything that misses 50% of the time is not worth your time. Yeah, see, the vertical one, I was just, just stood on it there, and it, the game was like, nah, you're not getting zapped. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Yeah, and that time I was not touching anything and I still got zapped. This part's just a little bit buggy. Ow, ow, ow. I should probably fix this with damage swap. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can add up. Hold on. Apparently it doesn't do very much damage at all. Yeah, there's our other Book of Pid. Okay, but I'm a little bit worried because I don't think we saw... Well, there's Mirror Move. But you've, we got Whirlwind. 20 slap. Yeah, we have both of the Whirlwinds. We got Leak Slap. We don't have Pot Smash. There's still a Book of Far out here somewhere. I don't think it's on this map. I think it was on the first map. Oh, God. Ow, ow. No, dang it. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold the directions. We'll see how much damage I take. Still not serious. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> zap, zap. Getting zapped. See, it only took cost us like a hundred or so. Well, oh, hold on. And now that we have this damage swap, I guess we kind of don't need healing items. Although they are handy to have in battle. Like, that's always a good thing to keep in mind. You're probably going to need to heal from monsters sometimes. Hmm. I gotta go over here. Hop on Draco one more time. Is, is there a book of fire out of here? I really hope there is. I mean, he can move around to some extent. I didn't let the clouds approach the side of the screen on this one, I don't think. I might have been cheeky and just put it on a little cloud island and you can only get from here. No. There's just this wispy cloud maze of sorts. Kinda of as we was a fake entrance there. I don't honestly know. Uh, I can just gotta wait. Make our way up and around and over to somewhere. I want to say that's a trick, and we need to go down the middle here. Oh wait, I think I do remember where the last book of far is. I think it's over this way. 
Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. We didn't miss it. Eh. But I need to get all the way to the top. All the way to the top. All the way to the top. I think I do that from over here. It's like once we get out of the... Yeah. Gotta think the double back here. Gotta realize that at the top of the screen doesn't matter because you're the arrow beneath Draco. Oi! I'm tempted to fight them just because of how ironic it is, but... Well, no, I guess it's more of a coincidence, but no. That was a purely random encounter. It just happened to be right in front of the book before I could press the key. There we go! Let's get out of here. How did you get here? I have wings, but I'm not strong enough to pull all four of you up here with me. This is the point from which I can further help you. You mean he isn't here either? Just how far do we have to go? He is still far away, but I can help you there. Where else is there to go? I will guide you. Just have faith. Alright, here we go. Last floor's done before the last segment. Wow. No wonder the Pathfinder told us to give up. So he's out here. Yes, but we have a long way to go. And you're going to escort us? Indeed. Shall we? Space! The final frontier! Alright, there's some books out here. I don't remember where they are. We've got four of them to find. And I remember... I'm remembering that going right is the wrong way, but there might be a book over here, so we kind of got to do it. The dramatic music does not stop for the battles. So out here we find <laughs> Clefairies, Magnemites, and Magnetons, because they're the only more Pokémon that I could reasonably think to actually put in space. This changes a tiny bit in the new version. It's still going to be... Um, well, it's going to be Clefables and Magnemites and Magnetons. The fourth Pokémon that appears here will be Weezing. And rather than one of the birds carrying over from... Oh my god, do you like Fine Guy? One of the, rather than one of the birds carrying over from the sky to here, which would make no sense at all, uh, Magnemite is on the ground floor down in the ruins, and he's the second Pokémon. Well, it is the second Pokémon that appears in space. Or, or the extra carryover Pokémon. Whatever, you don't get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm done trying to say it. You, you, you just have to figure it out from all my incoherent babbling, what I was actually trying to mean. Uh, so here's another area that could have been a really interesting concept that I just crapped all over by being stupid and neurotic. Instead of space being like anything interesting at all, it's just these long corridors of sparkles you can walk on. It didn't even used to have the sparkles. Okay, that was a book of Uh huh. We kind of have some Voltorb shenanigans going on here, where some of these things are actual monsters and some of them are books. Uh... Oh, yeah, we'll get there eventually. Yeah, the, the corridors of space, and yeah, there's Magnemite, the only Pokémon in this area that can evolve. Which means I should probably, like, focus on Magneton, but I don't care enough to do that. I mean, we got one of our rare items. We got the huge tooth. That was cool. Oh, look, it evolved anyway. It's a little off from the other Magneton because of, like, positioning. Uh, I don't want Ferris to die. I'm gonna have them both here. I don't know you do that. Thunderbolt's still the best. You would think it wouldn't be, but, you know, it's this game. I feel like you shouldn't be surprised at this point. There we go. We fixed them up good. Wait, what am I doing? Lazy. Wow, Horn has her hit. Remarkable. There we got him. Were there more books out this way? I don't remember how to navigate this map anymore. Clefairies, leave me alone. I'm not fighting you. I don't trust this. Because the... Hmm. Does it... Yeah. This one was a monster. Now I can't flee it. We gotta do it. Lots of explosions out of here. Since Magnemite and Magneton have the same movesets in the cards, just Magneton's versions are stronger. It's actually a bit problematic. Whoop whoop. You know, I'm... No, I'm not gonna Metronome. Metronome is actually pretty useless against Clefairy. I think all it can do is make it, like, sing its sleep. It wouldn't become another metronome, because that's not how that works. Uh, 
You need to recover. Yeah. Chris keeps getting the crap out of him. Although he is weak to electric, so he's going to take extra damage from everything out here. Yeah, but that yeah, space is just full of explosions. Nothing but explosions out here. Okay, I guess the fairies don't explode. Although, based on the Pokemon anime, you'd think that it would be the number one outcome of them using Metronome all the time forever. Oh wait, no, I didn't want to help. I was like, wait, I should be lazy. Wait, no, I should be smart. <laughs> and then I floundered a bit there, don't mind me. Yeah, keep people healthy. Yeah, I almost always have Master Heal by this point. We are in serious trouble for Mewtwo. Like, we're gonna have a miserable time. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, so we don't want to fight that guy again. I think the books are not on the sparkly path. And that's that. We, we already got the Book of Claire from the canyon, so we don't need to check any fairies. We know they are not books. They simply are not. Yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, stop avoiding combat. Like, I'm not gonna fight dupes, but I'm not gonna, like, avoid battles like I've been. It's getting kind of important. <laughs> we're going to need to be better equipped for what we're doing. So we'll just spam our best skills. Honestly, this will probably get it done faster anyway. Because our best skills are our best for a reason. Oh well. Because they do a lot of damage. Oh yeah, that's the other reason we have, like, Steady Plate for this area. Because Magnemite and Magneton both have stunning skills. They're, they both have Thunder Wave and both of them paralyzed, so that's how that do. Steady armor is going to help us a lot. Yellow helmets. Not that we need it, we bought the rainbow helmets. We're like, one level away. Did we ever find more steady armor? We did! I'm gonna ditch status K for this because it's better stats and it resists it's the only thing we need to worry about resisting. I mean, eh. There is sleep, but I'm not really worried about that. Fairies aren't that big of a deal. Yeah, we're, we're good. Oh, I should switch you back off of the, the thing. Oh wait, not you. You, because you don't need you don't need the thing anymore. Steel type doesn't exist in the original gen, so we don't have to worry about uh, poison. Oh dear, we'll have to find another way. Yep, this one rock is the obstacle that prevents us from going anywhere. Um. Okay, actually, the books are a different color. Because, like, the monster book had a shiny coloration to the Magneton, whereas this one was just a regular looking Magneton. Okay. Okay. No, I'm picking up on my own tells. But I think that's all that's over here. So now we can just make our way back. And once we head left from the start, we'll be good. Uh, did we come down this way? I think we did. I think we want to go over here. Um, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm already lost. No space. I kind of want to get back to the, the sky so we can like, yeah, there we go. There's our, our portal to the sky. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> there we go. All better. They're ready to welcome us back. Didn't I say I was gonna use like my best skills? No, I'm going back to lazy. It's more entertaining. Look at the animations. Ah, explosions and people fell asleep. No. All right. Magic Pluto awake. This is what I get for removing status K. You know. Uh... Incidentally, this is why the ground rod is the strongest staff in the game. Because everything in this area is weak to fighting. Literally everything. Well, I mean, not everything before this. This this segment of this area is everything is weak to fighting. Not that it matters. Elements are dumb. <laughs> but, they, I mean, they, they, they're insubstantial, but they aren't nothing. 
stop healing me. You need to die. Whenever my dad tested this RPG for me, he came to know Clefairies as pigs for some reason. <laughs> I guess they kind of have curly tails, but it's not like you can tell on the sprite. Maybe a little bit you can see it. He just, he called them the pigs. <laughs> kind of amuses me. Ow. Jay's Magnite. How are you this strong? Or maybe we're just that weak. God. Ah, jeez. Wait, no, no. At least we're getting some mileage out of our magic loop. We had to bother to make it. One disadvantage I foresee of making the magic flute quest longer is that there's going to be fewer opportunities for you to use it, but it should still get, it's, you'll still get some value out of it if you craft it, because like there's going to be coughings in the ruins, and they still have foul gas, so being able to cure that infinitely is going to be nice. Oh, where are we going? Here's a, oh, no, I was fooled. Magnemite doesn't have shiny coloration at ever, ever, so its books are going to match its regular sprites. We'll just have to check them when we get there. I think I can go lazy for another round. Yeah, I can destroy it. Now let's uh, recover a bit. I really need to learn Master Heal. We're almost certainly going to get it. Like, I would be astonished if we got through the end and didn't. Like. There's a pretty serious mini boss before the final boss that we'd probably level up on even if we didn't reach level 40 before then. Uh, do I want to hear that? Yeah, I probably do. do, 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 do. Magic. All these balance blades. That's actually, I think, probably the strongest thing I can give you. Yeah. I mean, it matches the strength of. Heavy poison, but it boosts your agility, and that's honestly a little more important. Eh. Monsters. Can't slack off anymore, we gotta do it. Push has come to shove. Like, officially. Stop, man, God, lay. That was a pretty big hit. 220 damage. Didn't quite see who did it, but it was good. Die, monsters. I guess I could be using metronome whenever there's like a magnemite. Because then it would pop, or like it has a chance of stunning it on the one case, and on the other case it hits both of the targets, which is better. There's a magneton over there, but it's not a book. You can tell it's shiny. Yeah, you know, like, uh, but that doesn't, that involves not using lazy. I don't want to not use lazy. I want to use lazy. I put in lazy for a reason. I didn't actually put it in, it's just a default feature, but it exists. I honestly do think it is fun just, like, seeing all the battle animations. You just never know what you're gonna get. Hit lazy and all kinds of crazy stuff. Clefairy, you finally did it. You put someone to sleep. Now the fight is over. 